Hello, welcome back to my channel, welcome to today's video. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting, positioning of the camera. This was such a last minute video. I thought I would do an Ocado haul because I made an Ocado haul last night, it's just come. And the whole Ocado haul that I made last night was for batch cooking. We are going to have a massive batch cook session this week. Because I am heavily pregnant, I'm pretty much nine weeks, I'm full term, um, I've only got a few more weeks to go. And what I'm thinking in my head is if I can just have delicious, nutritious meals, sitting ready in the freezer, ready to go. It makes the world of difference. One of the best things I did in preparation for when I gave birth to my first baby, who's now three, was do this, was meal prep. And I made some gorgeous things for the freezer and it really genuinely took the heat off. Like, I can't tell you how good it was to have nutritious, wholesome food sitting in the freezer. No one had to think about it. Take it out, throw it in the oven or take it out, let it defrost overnight and throw it in the slow cooker the next day. It was just such a good thing to do. So although I'm like really scooting up to the very edge of my pregnancy, this week is dedicated to batch cooking. And I have actually also got some Christmassy stuff here because I'm hoping next week, if I haven't given birth, I can film some Christmas taste tests. As you can see, I'm feeling out of breath now. I'm really getting there. Got my Christmas mug, one of my Christmas mugs. I just thought, I haven't got my decorations up yet. I feel like it's a little bit too early, but I need a festive mug. I'm listening to some Christmas music as well every now and then. Really gets me happy. So what I'm going to do, so this is a batch cooking food haul. So what I'm going to do is run through everything as well as what meals I'll be batch cooking with the prices. I spent a really reasonable amount considering I've got tons of food to make into portions and batch meals and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into it. What's really good with batch cooking is because you're buying things a bit more in bulk, you can save more money, you get more deals. Um, especially with meat products and stuff like that. So it's worked out quite well considering how much we're going to make. But I bought a six pack of tinned tomatoes. Now these are chopped tomatoes. I fully have converted to the plum tomato group. I'm in that club now because I feel like they do have more flavor in those tomatoes. For the sake of freezing some food and getting a good deal. I got the six pack of the chopped tomatoes. We're going into the curries, a whole tin per curry. I'm also going to be batch making some chili con carne. Chili con carne is one of the best things you can batch make um, or batch prepare just because it's a slow cooker meal. Anything that you can put in the slow cooker is an absolute winner, especially when you're in those early days of pregnancy. Obviously, this isn't just for pregnant people. This is for anyone who wants to, perhaps over the Christmas period or over busy periods, or just save yourself some money. Um, you want to start preparing your meals and eating a bit better, because when the meals are there, you tend to eat them. Um, so yeah, tin tomatoes. I've then got um, lots of beans. Because it's a cardo, you have to get a lot of branded stuff. Um, I always go for Branston though, Branston over Heinz any day. So we've got lots of beans because I'm going to be making breakfast burritos. If you're gonna make anything from this, make breakfast burritos. They are unreal. <laughs> Lawrence and I had one each morning for the first three weeks. I think we had one every single morning, I made so many, for the first three weeks of um, Oren's life. And I remember being an absolute zombie in bed eating this big salty, delicious breakfast burrito with a newborn just in my lap. Those were good times. And then I've got lots of red kidney beans because uh, they're going to go into the chili con carne and also I'm going to be making packs of air fryer chicken fajitas. So I've got a big bag of carrots. Um, carrots I tend to grate up and put in most savory meals. So it's the grated carrots are going to go into the spag bowl bags that I'm making. They're going to go into the chili con carne that I'm making. They'll go into the curries that I'm making. Um, and they'll go into soups because I'm also going to batch make some soups for the freezer. Yeah, carrots, extra fiber, extra vitamins. Got two big bags of peppers. Here we go, Ocado peppers. These were really reasonable priced. Cooking peppers. Don't know why they say cooking peppers. Maybe they're a bit sour. 
but they're going to go into the chili con carne bags. I'm going to prepare the chicken fajita air fry bags. I got some fresh ginger because uh, I'm going to be obviously making the curries. So I put lots of ginger in curries and things like that. Ginger is just one of those things. Um, some of you actually told me to just put it in the freezer and keep it always in the freezer. And it is the best tip ever because you can grate it from frozen. It doesn't last long enough to buy root ginger. What's root ginger? is so much tastier and better and nutritious than dried ginger. Got two bags of the leeks. Leeks are delicious right now. I'm going to be making chicken and leek pie bag. Um, that will be great for the slow cooker. And then I'm also going to be making some soup. So carrot and leek, potato and leek soups. Um, soups are just such a fantastic way of getting nutrients in you really easily. So easy to freeze. I've got some glass containers and Tupperware, things like that. Another like absolute win this time around is I have a fridge freezer in the garage. <sighs> Can I tell you how much me as a foodie and a constant cooking person and a batch cooker needed that second freezer and didn't realize it until I moved house. It's so amazing to me that I can batch cook now and actually have space to put it away in the freezer. Sorry, it just really makes me happy, that kind of thing. Two bags of leeks. We've got lots and lots of onion. Um, I start, I tend to only buy onion from places like Ocado now or Farmer's Market. If you see the roots that are dirty, normally the onion, the garlic um, hasn't been bleached or there's no like real nasties in it. So um, whereas the Aldi, I notice it's super white, super bleached. I have three punnets of just normal chestnut mushrooms. Mushrooms I'm going to wash, slice, and we're going to put those in. Breakfast burritos, bag bowl, chili con carne bags, and I'm going to be making a chicken and mushroom white wine sauce with rice throw together bags as well. Um, so talking of that dish, I picked up these, these look really nice. These are white wine, garlic and herb flavor pots. So like a stock pot. I thought, well, these sound like such an easy way of just throwing in the bags that I'm going to be batch cooking with the chicken and mushrooms and things like that. And then when it comes to actually serving up, just add some hot water and some creme fraiche and stuff just to make the sauce a bit more saucy. <laughs> And um, yeah, serve it maybe with rice and veg and things like that. Two packs of the white wine garlic and herb stock cubes. I also got red wine stock cubes. These are fantastic for making, um, adding into a spag bowl. I normally add normal red wine into my spag bowl, but because I will be making these as batch cooking bags, um, I don't really want to be adding normal red wine, just a lot of liquid, make it messy. So just chuck in one of these into each bag, I think will be really, really good. It does give that really nice, like rich, fruity flavor that red wine does give you when you're adding it into spag bowl. Um, I've also got some of the Callow organic beef stock cubes. These were on offer. These are beef stock cubes and they'll be good for chili con carne and just having in the cupboard anyway. Okay, so wraps. I feel a bit cheated with the wraps. Um, I was gonna go to Aldi, but I wouldn't have time this morning, so I just added them into my Ocado list. I got the Fitzgerald's one because um, they did actually say they are extra large wraps. So I thought, well, that would be handy. Really large wraps, but they're not. They're normal size wraps. Next time I will go to Aldi, but anyway, I got a pack of whole meal wraps. These the whole meal ones, for me personally, I prefer those with like the chicken fajitas that we make. And then I got the plain white wraps, which I think work better with the breakfast burritos and things like that. So um, with the breakfast burritos, you literally do make the entire wrap. Obviously I'm going to be filming all of this batch cooking and uploading it next weekend, but um, you do make the entire wrap. You just don't oven cook it until you get it out on the day of eating. 12 large free range eggs, because I'm going to be adding scrambled egg into the wraps. And yeah, it worked really, really well last time, making up the scrambled egg, adding it into the wraps, freezing it, reheating it in the oven. It worked really, really well. So um, I'll be doing that again. Uh, okay, meat wise. So chicken wise, I ordered two packs of these smaller British chicken thigh fillets. 
and then two packs of the larger ones. I've left the larger ones in the fridge just because of space. Um, so each one of these small ones will be a meal for four. So I'm going to be making curries, so like a few bags of curries. And then we've got chicken for the chicken mushroom, um, white wine meal that I'll be making. And then the chicken fajita bags that I will be creating, which I'm very excited about. And then I've got three big packs of minced beef. So um, this is going to be chili con carne, spag bowls. Um, so there's tons and tons here. So chili con carne and spaghetti bolognese, lots of portions. And then at the weekend, we're going to be buying some more beef mince because Lawrence is going to be batch cooking a massive lasagna, which I'm really excited about because his lasagna is 11 out of 10. I've then got two big packs of outdoor bread, great British pork bangers. Um, so pork sausages, so I'm going to fry these up, open them up, chisel them up, so turn a bit more sausage mincy, and then add those into our breakfast burritos. And then for the other pack that I've got, I'm going to make a sausage casserole um, bag as well. So a sausage casserole bag, I'm going to throw in sausages, um, some vegetables, some, I've got white beans, like pimento beans in the cupboard. We've got lots of tin tomatoes. I'm gonna chuck it all in a bag, freeze it. Again, that can be a slow cooker dump bag. Um, and then a few other bits I got. I found this in Aldi and I thought I had to shout it out because it is stunning. Um, it's the Astonish Pine Forest Antibacterial Spray. My stomach turns at like a lot of things. I can't deal with lots of smells, but this smells, this is Christmas in a bottle. So I thought I have to mention that because I've only used it a couple of times because I got it a couple of days ago, but so good from Aldi. I'm definitely picking it up again. Um, I also from Ocado picked up lots of newborn nappies. They've got good reviews and I thought I need to start picking some up because I've got none. And what if baby comes tomorrow? <laughs> Who knows at this stage? Um, so I picked up some newborn nappies, which are ridiculously small and cute. Um, I've got this, which I'm really excited about, m and Big Mix, and it just looks like such good chocolate. <laughs> Biscuit caramel, butterscotch eclair, caramel fudge, orange creme, strawberry creme, milk creme, salted caramel, hazelnut and caramel. Like, it's basically m and take on Quality Street, and I thought, well, I need those. I need those, but also uh, I'm gonna taste test them. If I get time to do my Christmas taste tests, you will see my thoughts on these. Um, other bits that I've bought for the taste tests that's coming up, hopefully, is some snowy pretzels, white chocolate coated salted pretzels with festive sugar sprinkles. I've also got some maple bacon flavor combo mix. Um, so like different types of crisps. And then these, which Lawrence is gonna be all over, hand-cooked hot honey pigs in blankets crisps. Hand-cooked hot honey pigs in blanket crisps. That's a mouthful. I did actually add tons of their Christmas range into my Ocado basket. I was so excited. I literally spent a good 50 pounds on party food, basically. But when I went through to checkout, none of it is in stock. I couldn't actually buy any of it so that was a bit gutting so i'm gonna have to go into store and do it and i also got some large resealable freeze bags 20 bags in here i've got some more in the cupboard so yeah today i'm actually going to start my batch cooking preparation series or film video so if you want to see that, make sure you are subscribed because that will be coming in a few days time. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you got something out of it. Again, I've left the shopping list below for you if you want to recreate these meals. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in my next video. Bye.